Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace uh, coming at you today, uh, from Starbucks. Um, hopefully, you guys have gotten off to a great start in your day. I don't plan on taking too much of your time today. This is hopefully going to be something short. I just want to touch on a point. Uh, before I do, I want to remind you about the resources that are going to be in the description box. Everything from uh, skills and high demand courses, uh, which are accredited courses, uh, consulting, uh, coaching subscriptions, as well as full time coaching, uh, copies of books, uh, and other information. Hopefully, you are investing in yourself in some way, somehow, whether it's time, money, uh, studying, research, reading. Uh, the goal is to become better. The goal is to ensure that you're not the same person uh, that you were on yesterday. Uh, I want to talk to you uh, about knowing your why. And why it's so immensely important. Uh, here, here's the truth about life. Life, if you're looking for fair, you're going to be disappointed. This isn't about fair. This is about commitment. This is about being able to go the distance. It's about understanding the importance of facing whatever it is you're going through and being relentless enough to get to the other side of the challenge. You're going to be in some storms in life. That's a part of the process. That's a part of life's equation. You don't get to circumvent life's struggles. That's not how this works. Uh, and what I've found is the difference between those who are able to push through for what they want and those who don't is those who do have a very clear understanding of why they're doing whatever it is they're doing. And the why is so huge that it transcends any particular issue or problem that they could face. Uh, I heard a, a person who was out of shape, uh, severely out of shape, uh, especially for their age. They were in their 20s at the time. Uh, recently married, had one kid and one on the way and went to the doctor because they had an uncle who died from a heart attack. At wow. uh, and so that kind of triggered uh, the process. But they went and the doctor took the test and everything, said, okay, go to lunch, come back. And when you get back, I'll have the results and we'll talk about it. And he walks in, he says, I don't think I've ever seen arteries this bad in such a young body. And basically, he asked a question. He says, do you have kids? And he says, yes, I have a son. He says, do you want to see your son walk across the stage on his high school graduation? He says, absolutely, yes. He says, uh, you mentioned earlier your wife is pregnant. What do you have in your room? He says, do you want to be present to walk her down the aisle, or are you okay with another man doing that? And he said, while the son walking across the stage was definitely motivation, the idea of having his daughter walk down the aisle by someone else was devastating and he completely changed his life around him he's still unbelievably fit and that's just one thing what is your why why are you doing something if your why isn't big enough it, there are going to be times you're going to come to difficult moments and because your why isn't big enough you're going to fold because it's just going to be easier to give up it's going to be easier to turn around why are you doing it what's the reason behind what you're doing. If you're doing it just for, you know, a paycheck, I'm telling you, there are going to be some things that will show up that will make that paycheck be small or make the idea of whatever you think you can be paid small. you got to have something bigger. Are you doing it uh, because it's your work? Are you doing it because it's going to help you and your family and your children in the long run? Are you doing it because 
you see the long-term goal and you're attached to it and you connect to it, it keeps you up at night because you're thinking about the impact that you can have. It's, is it connected to your legacy? Is it something that you are going to be leaving behind by doing this that will speak of you long after you're gone? Are you putting in that type of work? Are you putting in that type of effort? Are you standing up and being everything you need to be in that moment? And if not, why? But if you don't know your why, you're going to run into some stuff that simply will shut you down. If you don't know your why or your why isn't big enough, you're going to run into things that will fold you over. If you think you're going to get through life and, and, you know, with some kind of equation or some type of plan or whatever, and you're going to circumvent the vicissitudes and the challenges and the hurts and the pains and the disappointments and the frustrations, you are sadly mistaken and you are missing the point of living. Living isn't the circumvention of struggle and trial. Living is the beauty of knowing that you have everything it takes to overcome it. It's so many people that quit before the break. They vote. And they vote because they don't know why and they can't see beyond the moment. And when you don't know how to see beyond the moment and you don't have a why that's big enough to push you through, you will fall. It's that simple. If you don't know your why, what's holding you there? What's keeping you there? The moment that it becomes difficult, the moment that it becomes uncomfortable, the moment that it becomes scary, you are going to turn and run away and look for more. You have to be willing to understand that growth does not come in comfort. When there is a need for growth, you're going to find yourself in an uncomfortable situation. This is how life works. You don't grow. Your character is not built in comfort. You don't grow in comfort. You don't expand your capacity in comfort. Matter of fact, comfort leads to stagnancy. Comfort leads to a place of just sitting and not moving and not growing. And there's so much that you want out there, but you can't have it in comfort. You're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. You're going to have to be willing to be uncomfortable, unfamiliar. It's uneasy sometimes. And you're going to have to learn how to take that energy and transform it into power. That's what knowing. When your why plants you, if your why is big enough, it will plant you. And when your why plants you, you can't get off of that square. You're going to hold your position. You're going to stand your ground. You're going to push through. You're going to know that if you keep working at it, if you keep uh, hammering on your craft, if you keep uh, putting in the work, if you keep waking up every morning, you're going to get better. And that is inevitable change as you grow. You're going to move towards some things. Another problem that people have, and then I'm done, is that people want it now. I look at some people and they've got these big ideas of what's possible. But they want it now. When I say now, I mean some things they want now. This is one of the setbacks of working at Starbucks. They're always uh, using the blinder. But one of the setbacks of, of, of this thing is, is that. But they want it now. And sometimes now means immediately. Sometimes now means two years, three years, four years. But there are things that you're working for that may require five years, six years, seven years. There's absolutely nothing that if you set your mind to work on it and you've been there, that you can't at least put in five years. I mean, five years of hammering on your craft, banging on your craft, working on it, building it, growing it. And here's the thing. I've seen people walk away from progress because they are not what they think they should be. They miss the point. The progress is your guarantee. The progress is your evidence. The progress says you're not where you started. And if you're not where you started, then you're moving. And if you've moved in a direction where things have improved from where you started, then you are moving in a direction. The last thing you do is walk away from progress. Now, if you're in the same place you were five years ago, I mean, nothing has changed. Or you're in a worse situation than you were five uh, uh, five years ago, then, okay, then maybe you need to change strategies and approaches, but you don't give up on 
what what you say you were meant to be, what you were meant to do, how you were meant to impact the world. You don't give up on your your, your situations, your your businesses, your dreams, your 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 relationships. You sit up and say, okay, it's not working this way. Let me find another way in. But what you have to do is you're and if you're making progress. The last thing you want to do is walk away from progress. And see, when you know your why, your why plants you. Your why plants you firmly on the square. He says, you can't move. You will not move. You will not give up. You will not let go. I mean, I am grateful for the opportunity to be in, 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 in this world. And while this is definitely not where I plan to be or where I would want to be at this stage of my life, I've seen some beautiful things. I've been able to do some beautiful and I know what's possible and I know where I'm coming from on this stage of my journey. I knew that a lot I know that a lot of people had written me off in 2012. I know a lot of people wrote me off in 2006 and yet here I am and I'm reaching people every day I'm receiving emails and messages telling me how I've helped uh, them and how I've changed their lives and, 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 and how they want me to keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, my why is I want to leave a legacy for my family. I want to leave a legacy that I was more than just an occupier of space in this world. I want to leave a legacy. And, yes, I want a part of that legacy to be a financial legacy. And so that's something that is important to me. That's something that I'm working extremely hard on. But I also want my legacy to be a legacy of impact. I want to be able to say that I impacted lives in this world, that people were better off because they came in contact with me in one form or another. They read a book, they came to a conference, they saw a lecture, they actually worked with me in one-on-one -on -one, uh, 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 programs. Whatever the situation is, I want to be a person who made a difference in this world. I don't want to be someone who just showed up and gave in to life and let life push me around. And so that's my encouragement to you. Know your why. Get very, very intimately acquainted with your why. Know why you're doing what you're doing. And your why, if it's big enough to push you through and hold you together and, and keep you stable in the most volatile of times, and they are coming. If you think you're going to circumvent them, you think you're going to get around them, no matter what you do, there we'll find you. And on that note, I'm going to check out of here. Don't forget to check out some of those uh, resources. Find the one that works for you. I do have about two to three spots available for people who want to work one-on-one. -on -one. If you're serious about working one-on-one, -on -one, reach out. Uh, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. As I always say, I am going to live my life so that when it's time for me to leave this place, I down on E. That's something I can live with. On that note, I'm out.